Hi, this is my uh, video diary um, for wealth creation and uh, this is my office. This is the uh, house that we moved into after a word from the Bible from Deuteronomy 8.18 and it says uh, that God will give you or gives you the power to create wealth. And this is the house. My wife's just come home. Jen's just come home. Here she comes. Yeah, she's doing oh, just say hello to the video. It's the Wealth Creation Diary. Hello. <laughs> I've just walked into the house. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Diary. How come I'm upside down on the screen? Don't worry about that. Oh, it's okay. just because it's broken. Okay. <laughs> it's good for the Wealth Creation Diary. You enjoying that? So here's the outside of the house. It's raining. It's pretty miserable. And see, it kind of looks like three flats, but it's not. It's just our house. And uh, we're quite blessed in that. And uh, look behind me just there. It's the neighbours and uh, getting their car valeted. And so here we are. I'll take you inside and show you, uh, just quickly show you the rest of the house. <laughs> This is my painting room, see? Uh, I splashed everything everywhere. A couple of uh, pictures, again from Madeline, that I'm gonna redo. Here's uh, Jen, and here's <laughs> Nikki. And uh, Nikki, what are you doing? You do wealth creation, aren't you? So tell us, tell, have a look in there, just there, and tell everyone just what you're doing for wealth creation. Uh I have been making and designing jewellery uh, for weddings and different shops and it's now available in um, three shops. Two that sound is the panini maker just making a bit of a noise there. <laughs> okay. Jen loves paninis. Two in Sheffield and one in Bromsgrove. So I'm selling it now and I have a website so you have to check it out. Oh, what's the website? www.divinebynikki.com Divine, divinebynikki.com Sounds good, Jen. What's your Very website, good. Jen? Um, oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, here's, oh, this is Jen's favorite room. Um, I rarely sit on this. I think it's kind of like a little velour-y and just, just, it doesn't suit my skin. This is the, this is the ironing cupboard that I devised. Look, look at this. This is all my, ta-da. Oops. That's my invention. It's good, isn't it? And you just get the iron out, plug it in. And when you're finished, all you need to do is go, Shut the door. Hey, press off. Okay, just down here is the very first house that we bought coming into England. And uh, the bank manager at Barclays said we couldn't get a loan. And uh, they said there's no way we're going to be able to give you a mortgage uh, based on no income at all. See, it's the middle house just there. And uh, I thought it was pretty cute. It's the white one and it's right beside countryside. It's it's in a council estate and uh, but it's quite a nice one and uh, what the bank manager said is that you've got no income, you've got no consistent source of income so we're not going to give you a mortgage and so we said well all right then we won't be able to get the house. Four days later the Barclays bank manager from Barnsley phoned us up and said well we've never done this before but based on your enthusiasm and based on your visionary entrepreneurial ship uh, in starting a new church that is uh, we'll do it for you and so we got our first mortgage and that's our first house I'll show you the house we upgraded to um, after three years of living in this house and this is all kind of pre-wealth creation but it sets the stage uh, just up here is the second house that we moved to and God really blessed us and we we're able to to move into a house that we absolutely loved and uh, it's the house here, second on the end. And this beautiful little cul-de-sac had a fantastic time here when Ryan was really, really young. And, um, and the house price went up and that. And God challenged us um, because we were doing a, a project at church to, to buy the mega center and God challenged us to uh, sell a house and go down market. And I guess he gave us the option, but we thought, well, let's, let's take out the money that we've made in the house. And, and we made a bit of money in the house because it wasn't as much as in the big days of uh, when the house price is really rising but we made some money in the house and and so we took the money out and we downsized and I'll show you the house we downsized to it's not a bad house but uh, it's not as nice as this house here this is what we downsized to and it's uh, just behind me and um, no I'm only kidding my tape got corrupted on my uh, wealth creation uh, diaries and uh, if it was this place be bang on Sheffield Parkway but uh, we stayed here for three years not here but we stayed there for three years and uh, 
and the house prices started to really rise and we were able to then uh, go to the next house that I'm about to show you. Uh, what I've learned from wealth creation is not every seed you plant is going to be successful. Uh, I've learned that failure is uh, not an option, it's a necessity. And this is the very first uh, big failure that we had, uh, which was an investment opportunity into an internet project that was uh, linking businesses to suppliers and suppliers to businesses. A great idea, someone recommended it to us, but uh, we've lost in the vicinity of 25,000 pounds through this one idea, our first big failure, but we picked up our socks and carried on with wealth creation. But uh, I, I bring this up just to show Show you that entrepreneurialism is uh, a combination of both success and failure but with the favor of God and with a bit of wisdom from heaven uh, our successes outweigh our failures. That's my story I'm sticking to it. This is where we moved to through so the price increase of the other house in Wood Seats and see the house in the corner there and we had a great time here. This is when Ryan was a little child and he was playing Red Rover and British Bulldog just all over here and it was absolutely brilliant and then God spoke to us through Dave Cartledge and through Deuteronomy 8.18 um, uh, that he gives us the power to create wealth and so about a mile just over there was a house being built uh, on a hill uh, in a, another area um, uh, close to here and uh, we felt the Spirit of God say to us here's your chance here's your opportunity and so we grabbed the opportunity and increased our mortgage and through that was able to strengthen ourselves for the possibility of doing some great wealth creation things and so there we go. Uh, through the promise of uh, wealth creation and moving to the house that we're currently in, we're able to remortgage the house and it gave us, gave us the chance to get behind what turned out to be uh, our biggest failure to date, and uh, which is a bit of a shame, but also enabled us to, uh, it, to um, invest in two houses in order to uh, raise the money to uh, create wealth for our church. This is one of the investment houses that we bought and uh, your person in it doesn't do any gardening you see so you can hardly see the house but I don't know if that's good for safety but uh, anyway here it is and uh, it's just a it's just a, a two up two down house but um, I think it's a pretty nice place. This is my big success story, Rage Against Beige. And I sent this off to uh, 40 publishers and nobody wanted it. And then uh, let it die just for a little bit, then sent it off to 40 publishers plus IKEA. And IKEA, the managing director, phoned me up. He said, we want to buy the whole thing off you, Rage Against Beige. You can't judge beige by its color. Yeah, right. And uh, so I said, he said, how much do you want for it? I said, I wouldn't have a clue. I said, you tell me. He said, well, all right, then I'll give you a ballpark figure. How about 50,000 pounds? And so it's become my biggest success story to date. My biggest failure, lost 25,000 pounds uh, with the internet deal. My biggest success, gained 50,000 pounds. This is my internet project, failure. This is my Rage Against Beige, success. This is my new project, the Nerd Bible. Oh, let's hope for success. And uh, there we have it. Bye-bye. I'm Dave Gilpin. That's been my Wealth Creation Diaries, signing off for now.